Next handler to come in, we've got young Lucy Creek with Skiffle. And a previous winner of this competition. Harriet Skiffle King is the full kennel club registered name of the, uh, the dog, which is a, uh, a Border Collie dog, six years old. And she's going to be performing to Paddington Bear Medley by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So the kids will love this. Mr. and Mrs. Brown first met Pad Padden on a railway. In fact, that was how he came to have such an unusual name for a bear. Because, because Paddington, Paddington was, the, was name the name of the station. Of the station. Mr. Mr. Brown, Brown saw him first, a small, a small furry, furry object sitting, sitting on, on an old suitcase, suitcase behind a pile of mail bags. bags. And the sport has got the freedom to let people just do their own thing within the allotted time. And that was a good little bit of storytelling and a lot of very technical moves in there that have been well trained, which again, the judges will sum up the whole content 
the way it's been choreographed, so when the music changed, perhaps the dog changed position or did something different, and also how accurate they were. So uh, lots of things and lots of fun you can have with your dog, folks, and this is what it's all about. If you're interested, go up onto the, into the activities area in Hall 3 and have a word with them there, and they'll tell you all about it. Hello. Looks like we've got the oldest school child in Crufts. I wonder if she got in by paying child's entrance fee. Oh, I think it's free for children. It looks like school time has started. Yes, it is. The seat fits. Here she goes. <laughs> I think this might be good, folks. Anyway, we're waiting for the scores to come up now. This is for Lucy and Skiffle. Here they come. Oh, content eight, seven. Thought it, Anna nine, nine, four. Anna nine, three. That was a great story they were telling with lots in it. Accuracy, was it accurate? Did she get it all right? An eight, six, a nine, and another nine, eight, eight, seven. This looks like it'll take the lead. Did she interpret the music correctly? Nine, five. And a nine, five. I think she's going to take the lead with this. Nothing to deduct. I think no, and yes, 27.3. Well done, Lucy. A good story. Now it looks like it's school's out time. Would you like to welcome into your reader now, Kim Lydon with Tyler. <laughs> Can you, you said what is the Kennel Club registered name of the dog? It, it is a dog, it's a Border Collie, seven years old. And they're going to be performing to just William, please, sir, and Charlie Brown. It's a mixed by the London Film Orchestral and the London Music Works and the Coasters. So it's a little bit of a mix up, and we look forward to it. Kim, over to you. Classroom this minute.
Well done, Kim. What a great routine, telling a great story with it as well. That's Kim and Tyler. Back to their school days. Right, we'll just wait and see what the results are on there. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow we have the Hilbert to Music finals in this arena. And on Saturday, we have the international freestyle here. And we've got 15 competitors, I think it is, on Saturday. And we've even got someone, we've got them through throughout Europe. And obviously the home countries, we've also got someone coming in from Japan. So uh, it will be an interesting competition. So do join us if you're, if you're uh, in Crofts for those two important competitions. And if you're at home, of course, make sure you look at the schedule of times and join us online to watch. Now, we're just waiting for the last of the scores to come in. And then we'll see if the lead has changed. Lucy Creek in the lead on 27.3. And Caroline Johnson just behind you on 26.13. And Heather Smith on 24.77. That's our three top leaders at the moment in contention for the beautiful Crufts Crystal Prizes. This is looking good content. It was good content. Eight, eight, nine, three, and eight, eight. Kim, that's a great mark. Eight point nine seven. Accuracy look fairly accurate. The judges think it does as well. We got two eight nines there. Interpretation eight nine nine six. This is looking good, folks. It's going to take a high place out of nine five. Is there anything to deduct though? No, 27.10 into second place she goes. Well done, Kim. And as they say, another story told. We've got just three more competitors now in this uh, first of the Crufts 2016 freestyle finals. And the handler entering the arena is Leslie Neville with Dewey. Give her a big round of applause. Uh, Leslie is quite well known for a beardy collies, and today's no exception. This one's called Bramble Dale Blue Dewey. It's a dog, it's four years old, and she's going to be forming a Glen Miller classic called the Chattanooga Choo Choo. So it's pulling into station nine just now. So when you're ready, Leslie and Dewey, it's over to you. Be a 
certain party at the station. Saturday. I used to call Bunny Bay. She's gonna cry until I tell her that I'll never roll. Well done, Leslie. We love the Glenn Miller music. Bring back memories of uh, Mary Ray doing a well-known Glenn Miller track in the, well, must be in the 90s now, um, when she had the two dogs in with her, Kizzy and Quincy. So great music to perform to. And while we're talking about her, young lady, that young lady, Mary Ray, don't forget, best in show night, Sunday night, Mary will have her latest routine. And it's a singles routine this year, just her and Levi. And I think this might be Levi's last performance at Croft, so don't forget to see him either online if you can't get in the arena, or they might be showing some of it on TV, we're not sure, but definitely it's online at about 7.45. And it's a, uh, it's a strictly dog dancing, because we've got some tango for Mary on Sunday night. So that was a great routine, and Leslie Neville always puts in a great routine with her beardies. She has some wonderful dogs. She's been one of the top winners over the years, and she has a great working relationship with them as well. And then you put to that with the, uh, the lovely Glenn Miller music, with that fantastic beat it's got, and you've got all the ingredients for a great routine there. Now let's see what the judges think. If they did, they think it was a great routine. Up come the results, and I have to say this is very quick this year. Well done to everyone involved in that. 8-2. Content. Good amount of content. Not quite as high as some of the others we've seen, but at 8.3. Ooh, a 7.981. Again, good marks. Very good marks, but uh, not quite as high in accuracy as I would have liked, I don't think. Interpretation of the music. That's a bit higher there. That's good. 8.33. Anything to deduct? Won't be taking the lead today, but still a good place. Number five, 24.73. Well done, Leslie. Just two more competitors to go. And now with the uh, piece of music in the last three minutes, 40 seconds, we've got next in the arena, Angela Briggs with Drift. Give her a big round of applause when she comes in. If she comes in, here she is. Oh, she's not ready. So we're, we're going to do a. We're going to we're going to hit the reverse. Here we go, Angela Briggs with drift, folks. The, uh, it's a working sheep dog. The four kennel club name of the dog is Wandering Coast to Coast. It is a dog. It's nine years old, and the music she's using is called Reviewing the Situation by uh, the guy who does a lot in the West End, or has done in the past, Ron Moody. So, you're under. Thank 
Fagan, as you no doubt gathered, so uh, Angela Briggs and Drift had a great routine they did too. It's the uh, place a lot of handlers get their music from. I did say at the beginning it is one of the most difficult things to get the music together, picking which music to use. And of course, tracks from West End shows are tried and tested. And if you were trying to put a routine through from in the very early stages, you can always pick a good routine you can move to and do the choreography correct as well. So, uh, oh, looks like we've got the great train robbery going on here. Looks like a big chub safe. Oh, is that going out though? That was Fagan's. Looks like somebody was going camping. So, we've got agility coming up following this, folks. And we've got some very important agility throughout the afternoon. And we've got flyball following on. And we've got the... Uh, the West Midlands Police Dog Display Team, they'll be joining us later. So lots happening in the arena and lots for the, the audience to watch online. It's a big part of Croftsdale, the online community, and it is being watched throughout the world. So lots to see right the way through to the close of the show tonight. Now let's see how Angela did. That's Fagan, 8.3, 8.2 and 8.5. That's a good result there. 
No, nine jet, eight, accuracy eight, eight one and eight two. A fair is on there, still over the eights. Interpretation of the music, 8.5, 8 eight, and 8.6. 8.37 and into deduct. No, and 24.8 and into fourth place she goes. So that was very, very good, but doesn't quite take her into the the top three places where we've got some beautiful cross engraved crystal being presented. Now we've got the last dog to run in this uh, first day of the. Hilbert's Music at Cross 2016. This is handled by Lucy Creek and the dog called Teasel. Give a round of applause. Guy Lander making waves is the full name of the dog, and it's a beagle. Don't see many beagles competing in the activity sport, so it's good to see one here. Ten years old, and the name of the music is called The Hunting Dog, and the track is by Hunting by Golden Orchestra. And uh, she says it's a typical beagle, beagle just likes to do the scent. So, Lucy and Teasel, you're under starter's orders. Get out your guns and blow the horn. We're going hunting early in the morn with a great big yikes and a tally ho. Here come the hunting dogs, on with the show.
Come on, Lucy, what another great routine with your beagle there, Teasel. And that, folks, is on number 10. But we have to wait for the results, then we have the presentation. So I know you're going to all wait because they really work very hard, all the competitors. And we'll be making the presentation just as soon as we finish. But firstly, we want to know what the judges thought about Lucy Creek and her beagle, Teasel. Not the easiest of dogs to get to concentrate on the job in hand, as you know, they are bred for a purpose. And the purpose wasn't to hear words of music. But she has been very, very successful. Well, great competition. And we just, uh, as I said earlier, if you're interested in any way, shape or form, go up into Hall 3, talk to the hear words of music people. They will tell you all about the sport, how you can get started, where to go, and give you details about getting your dog registered with the Kennel Club for the ultimate time you do competitions. And don't forget, you can register a non-pedigree dog with the Kennel Club on the activity register. You won't be able to show it in the breed classes at Crofts, we won't be seeing you in Best in Show, but you can participate in all the other activities. So lots to see up in Hall 3. Now we have young Lucy Creek. Let's see what the judges made of her routine with Teasel. Content, 8.5, 8.4, that's a good mark. And 8.3, 8.4 overall. So a good mark there. Accuracy, 8.283, 8.2. That's, uh, this is not looking as though it's gonna be taking one of the top three places. Interpretation was quite good, but might not be quite enough. Anything you don't know, no, so in 25.03 into fourth place and just out of the trophy places. So the ring is all set now for the competitors to come in for the presentation for that freestyle heel works music competition, which I hope you've enjoyed. Some tremendous performances there and uh, some very fine dogs, dogs perhaps that you wouldn't expect to see performing heel works music, particularly the Beagle, the last one you saw there. It actually has a kennel name, which has done extremely well in the show ring, Dial In. It's a very famous uh, Beagle kennel and they've had a lot of success in the show ring, so it's very interesting to see dogs like that performing things like heel work to music and obedience. Well, the presentation will take place for the winners of that competition in just a moment. They will see them all come into the ring. They're waiting in the far corner of the ring now, so here they come. Dave Ray, the ringmaster, if you like, he's calling them all in, and here they come. So these are the first three. First, second, and third. Or third, second, and first. I'm not sure in which order they are down there at the moment, but I'll let Dave Ray tell us in just a moment. And the winner, 
course, was on the right there, Lucy Creek. There she is. Very proud. And it was a terrific performance. A wonderful uh, one, the, the Paddington Bear routine. Very clever. Some remarkable work uh, done there in the ring. And you know, there's a big crowd here for the first day on the show. It's, it's quite remarkable, a Thursday, to see this sort of crowd in, uh, in here cheering them on. So there she is, Lucy Creek. There's the winner. And she's getting her award. So well done to her. Harriet Skiffle King, what a lovely in name. In second place, and it was really funny, and uh, I don't think it really suits you there. It's Kim Light with Tyler. <laughs> Doing the little Just right. William routine. Well done, Kim. And in third place, Caroline Johnson with Sunny. <laughs> yeah, she's thrilled to have third place there in this competition. <laughs> she's got a little fan club here as well. So that's the uh, presentation done, and we really have had a marvellous well, morning great, and early afternoon here at the day. Genting Arena the at Crufts 2016. This being the 125th anniversary year of the show. And in just a moment, we'll be going on with some agility. But we can take a look to see what is coming up during the course of the day. This is all streamed live as we watch them take their lap of honour. It's a terrific atmosphere here at uh, Crufts. It seems to get better every single year. The crowds come. The halls are very busy today, I have to say, outside and away from the main ring. Uh, a lot of interest in the breeds. We've got the utility breeds and the toy breeds here today. As we watch the three prize winners, last one, Lucy Creek, leaving the ring there. She's uh, the winner of the Freestyle Heel Work to Music. <laughs> 